today we're going to meet Poe. Hmm. And the title is Poe Won't Go by Kelly DiPuccio and Jakaria Ahura. Hmm. Oh, he looks sad. Let's meet him. Hong Kong! Beep, beep! 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 There's lots of beeping there. <laughs> Let's meet Poe. A little kindness can move mountains and maybe an elephant too. <laughs> That's so true. Let's do this. Poe won't go. For my teacher and friend Marie Campbell, who taught me how to listen, KD. For Lydia, Tommy, Ben, Oscar, and Teddy, Z O. Mm. Poe won't go. One morning, the good people of Prickly Valley awoke to find an elephant sitting smack dab in the middle of the only road in town. How he got there was a mystery. His name was Poe. It didn't take long for a traffic jam to form around the uninvited elephant. Horns honked. People yelled from the cars. A policeman wrote him a ticket. But Poe wouldn't go. So the good people of Prickly Valley took to banging pots and pans to shoo him away. They blew trombones and blasted megaphones. They tugged and tickled and tap danced. But Poe wouldn't go. The crowd grew louder and louder, larger and louder. People begged, please, 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 blue cheese, boo, boo, cheese, and boo, cheese, and bribe, cheese, and but Bo still wouldn't go. As the day wore on, the townspeople grew more clever. They brought in mice and magnets and motivational speakers. You can go! Mm -hmm. Copters, cranes and clams with horns, quickers. Get thee behind me, po. But there wasn't a pastor or plow in town who knew how to get Po to go. No. -uh. Not even the amazing Carl who could make the elephant disappear. No. -uh. Finally, the mayor arrived on the scene. We do not tolerate parked park items in Pitley Valley, she proclaimed. The mayor formed committees and councils. They hatched plans, drew dry grams and drank coffee from styrofoam cups. By late afternoon, the entire town of Pitley Valley and the neighboring village of Ortersville all lined up behind the stubborn elephant. Heave ho! Go! Po! <laughs> Remarkably, that plan failed as well. As did this one. extra something called wildcats fireworks no oh. seriously catch me if you can po <laughs> the townspeople were fresh out of ideas and po well you know <laughs> a girl named marigold approached the mayor excuse me ma'am has anyone asked po why he won't go 
asks him, Child, the good of people Prickly Valley do not speak elephant. Well, anyone can speak elephant if they just listen hard enough, said Marigold, who was fluent in both kitten and hedgehog. <laughs> the girl climbed a ladder, pressed her ear to pose forehead, and closed her eyes. Marigold concentrated. A minute passed before she addressed the crowd. He said he's waiting for a friend, she announced. And his friend is very late. That's preposterous, hissed the mayor. You're making that up. A news reporter chimed in. Hey kid, can you ask the elephant if by chance his friend is wearing a polka dot tie? Marigold leaned into the elephant for a second time. Remove someone, remove that silly girl, the mayor snapped. It's getting late and this is a waste of precious. Marigold interrupted the mayor's rant. He said it's possible. Ah, the news reporter chuckled. Well... And it's possible this elephant is sitting on his friend. Oh. <laughs> and just like that, Poe got up and he went with his friend Mo. I wonder where they'll go. Oh, what a lovely story and what a lovely thing to see, guys. What a lovely picture to see. Poe smiling. Oh, and look at them. Marigold. What a lovely, lovely, brave little girl. And that's Mo with polka dot tie. Mm. So cute. This is such a lovely book. A little kindness can move mountains. And maybe an elephant too. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone.